Most plastic surgery procedures, they involve uh, working at level of the skin and underneath fat and muscles. So the conventional way is to create those incisions at the skin level and then to go into deeper structures like muscles. And this will cause the patients more scars. And so unfortunately, this is what we work with, scars and scars and scars everywhere. So sometimes you try to hide the scars, but there are some, some areas where you cannot hide them. Unfortunately, patients, they have to live with those scars forever. In breast reconstruction, there are certain specific type of patients who undergo radiotherapy, who cannot get reconstruction from their own tissues, though, so you have to use some silicone implants. When you have radiotherapy to the breast uh, for cancer treatment, the skin is not enough to protect the implants. So you have to get some healthy tissues to, cut, to protect those implants. And in breast, the most uh, or the traditional one and the most popular one is the taking muscle from the back and flip it anteriorly to cover that implant. In order to take or harvest that muscle from the back, you have to create a scar on the back, which is about 20 to 25 centimeters. It depends on each patient. So with the robot, we use only that scar or that incision to harvest the whole muscle from the back all the way around to reach the spine area with just this incision instead of creating another additional incision about 20-25 centimeters on the back and the scar of course. In terms of incisions, the patient has no additional incisions. They have no incision on the back and you know most of these patients are young women. They have nothing to hide anymore. Second, recovery time. The patients usually they stay in the hospital two to three days. Our patient and most robotic plastic surgery patients, they stay overnight. So less cost, less pain, and recovery time is much faster. Like any innovative surgery, you go one step at a time. For our future plan is to carry on and do more robotic plastic surgery and specifically breast reconstruction. And hopefully when the, the other application for robotics in plastic surgery are more popular and there is more data about it and more studies, maybe we can pursue those also uh, in our future practice or maybe collaborate with our uh, colleagues worldwide to participate in these uh, new innovative surgeries. Mm -hmm.